for the credits and all that good stuff. Welcome, folks, as you come in. This is the new live stream, Fallout New Vegas. And we're starting at the very beginning of the vanilla thing. It is not, it's, it has nothing special. No mods, no nothing, just Fallout New Vegas. Atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. <clears throat> Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. 
Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. It's a ceiling. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Oh, let's see. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Okay, I didn't know it had these options. Beady eyes or large eyes. Big man. Oh, don't think so.
the edge of something with his mouth. I don't have a pretty mouth. Can I pick my freaking hair color or no? Oh, there it is. Hairstyle. of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Ooh. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Walk well, where? Looking 
good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay. Standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean the bullet didn't leave you nuttered in a big one at all. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Okay. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. Enemy. Light. Mother. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Hmm. Okay. How about this one? so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Oh, my lord. Just a formality. Ain't like that back to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head.
that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Um I need clothing. Clothing and weapons. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you were brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave them nowhere to look. I thought it might help me find an extra kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. <clears throat> I don't mention it. You should talk to Eric. Any but try not. So I have Put the gun away. Oh, you hold it down. Okay. Okay.
so where where do I go? one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. <clears throat> I don't think I have any caps. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Take it easy now. Okay, I will. Francis' suit seem to be calling the shots, as as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorner. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, cams, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. <coughs> I heard a claim once way out east by the river. It got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Meat and hide mostly. Can't put it on. They just lay down oh, and me. take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. <clears throat> okay. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Mm. 
Alright. Meet her outside behind the sun. Sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Next shot. Well, that's a start, but I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase <coughs> those away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. All right. Let's go. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. <coughs> There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. All right, let's go. I don't know where the third one went.
you go, girl? Where did you go? like you've done. I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Okay. <coughs> now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. <coughs> Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right then. We'll need a couple of ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. <coughs> Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. Where's the freaking graveyard? Well, I think the graveyard is this way. Where's any more? 
Ow, dang it. What is that? Oh, Lord. Cemetery. Oh Lord. There we go. Got one. Come on now. Oh, I missed all the other over there. Dang it. You don't get anything for killing us? I shouldn't have killed it then. Okay. Where's them bugs? There's a bent tin can. Another one. There's lots of flowers that I'm supposed to get. Good. Get those. What is that? No, I'm not robbing a grave. Not right now. I will later. I'm sure when I get desperate I'll start robbing them. Okay. Oh. Do you not have anything? You don't have anything. Now she said she saw some kind of flowers that she needs. 
growing up here at the cemetery. Gotta find the flower. It's growing up here by the cemetery. I bet that's it right there. The rock flower. Here we go. Any more? I don't see any more. Oh, there might be some over here. Just look over here. Oh, Lordy, it's been ages since I played this game. Ages and ages ago. I tell you. Alright, so we got the Brock Flower. So now... And I guess we don't get to run. school <coughs> I thought that was the schoolhouse wasn't that the schoolhouse are we sure this isn't the school no it isn't okay all right so we're going where around here somewhere What the mech look at howdy hell? Nothing. 
Search the tree stump. Wrong game. I go. I'll be right back, folks. If I don't answer this, then it'll just keep on. What is it, F6? to shut the live stream down but I can't because you keep calling yeah that would be nice
testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Okay. Okay, are we here? There we go, good. All right, now, let's see, what were we supposed to get? Some kind of something or another. There's a bucket, I don't need a bucket. The school desk is empty. Locker empty, empty. Well, what is... What am I supposed to be after? These are all empty.
Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. That's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. <coughs> she likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. Hey there. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burnt. What do you want? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. <coughs> He's hiding somewhere in town. <coughs> it served these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Hmm. 
none of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Yeah, forget about it. Or to shoot you. Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. I've run with some tough gangs, but I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing, but I'll be staying out of their way. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave, but it's a big desert. So it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Yeah. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Fine by me. <coughs> There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Ooh, only got 68 caps.
thanks. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy <coughs> in the checker code kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15? He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Be careful out there. So you basically can't sleep.
That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. <coughs> I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. <coughs> I've got no chance against the gang on my own. <coughs> All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... <sighs> Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? <coughs> oh. Well, I don't want to make a move until she's with us. We'll see where to go here. Let's see, right over here, I believe. Find Sunny Smalls. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? <coughs> Say no more. I'm in. That's inspiring. 
You may want to keep your optimism to yourself if you try to recruit anyone else. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I'll be waiting. Mm -hmm. I gotta find Trudy, whoever that is. Hey there. Trudy. Trudy is true. Is you Trudy? Just a settler. Huh? Mm. Who's Trudy? All right, gotta find Trudy, whoever that is, and see what's going on there. Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? So that you got to say? We need more people like you around. Okay. Well. You looking to buy some supplies? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about.
Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Take it easy now. I could steal what I need. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Good, good, good. While everyone good, good. does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Be careful out there.
Just pick one. Howdy. Okay. Howdy. Thank you. Where's that radio? Is this it?
Howdy. Oh, too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. told you before, it's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. Yup. Mitchell sure knows the stuff, doesn't more people like you around. Hello.
What the hell is your problem? What do you want now? Yeah. Morning. Hello? Can you help me? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. I don't trust him.
Gotcha. Don't This is cutting my ammo in half. Nope.
to shoot him in the face. Okay, so somehow strangers coming into town these days. No offense. I got Trudy. I got Sunny Smiles.
draw more people. Oh well. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? What was that? Eh, 47 still. Oh well. Continue. I think we've gone that way. And we found... Fifty-five rounds. We already know this thing ain't gonna do the job when it comes to those gags. What's this over here? Oh Lord! Oh my goodness! Found me a spiffy little hat. That's cool. Now where is... Isn't there supposed to be a robot? Can you help me? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, cast <clears throat> the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. I should shoot you in the face. Pick those. No. Oh, you can only pick them when they're like that. I do believe this thing is tough as nails.
go, we die. Come on, crack lizards, let's go.
wonder if I can get a kill shot if it goes back to hidden. These things are that tough. Where's that robot anyway? Supposed to be a, supposed to be a robot around here. A big old robot.
Wait, no, that's not. It's the freaking, um, there's a little round thing. Not the big robot. A little round thing. And you have to fix it. I think you have to go to a casino or something to get it fixed. Damn, running low on smokes again. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Never gets old when something blows up. You eyeballing me?
I've got you now.
What the hell is your problem? What do you want now? No. I got a funny feeling about you. And there's no way I'm trusting you to watch my back. Yeah. Go talk to Doc Mitchell. There you are, you old codger. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Sure. I gotta buy them? No! What? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Okay, good. That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Okay. You take care now. Alright, so the only one I don't have on our side. Well, two people. I gotta get the explosives guy to give us explosives. Which means I gotta level up so I can up my explosive getting skills. Alright. Explosive getting skills, is that a thing? What's that? What is that? Oh, that's a scorpion I killed earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Let's look around. I don't have much time left. I have to go and pick my son up. bigger scorpions up there. Yeah, I don't think I want to play with those. Not yet, anyway.
Okay. Hmm. 
this? We don't know. is, but looks pretty potent. What's that? Empty whiskey bottle. Hmm. Somebody came out here and drank it. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of it. <coughs> Be careful out there. I'm not taking sides. Before. It's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. <coughs> too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Uh. Yup. He was running and yelling, look at him go. What the heck was that about? It was weird. There is a house around here somewhere that I can sleep in.
this shack over here? No, that's boarded up. I don't think it would be this one. No. Hell darn. This is boarded up too. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. All over the place, <coughs> the easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've okay. met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Hello? If you or a loved one has had a hernia mesh implant surgery... Yeah, no. Okay. I imagine it is about time to go get little man. It is 4.58. Okay, I got just a few more minutes, then we're going to close this down. Uh, let's get out of this conversation. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for this stars already.
All I remember is I don't need to go that way. This is called Fallout. Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Happy trails! powder gangers every now and then. That's cool. That's cool. Kachukachu. Oh, 
but let's search this guy. Powder game. Serious? So many people can walk on. Possibly an exploit. I think so. Woo-hoo! Woody, 
Three people over there. He killed his buddies. <laughs> he killed his buddies. Ooh, that didn't feel good. Maybe they killed themselves by stepping on the stuff. Good
go and my buggy. Oh, can't pick him up. Cannot pick him up. Body. This is hey dad look. <laughs> you dry? Are you dry? Yeah. Good. Dad I wanna see this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey Daddy. Yes. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Whoa. Up down. Oh, cool. What? That's your butt. I'm a practice. Oh. That's what I want to know for. Let's go! Owie! All right, well, folks, I'm going to have to call it quits for now. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you like what you saw, leave a like. Hit the like button. And, uh... Bye. I don't know, maybe even comment and let me know you're here. Yeah. And... Goodbye. I will see you guys Bye. later. Have a good one. Yeah.